Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today I thought I'd do a little video on what to do if your car link kit or car play to air dongles don't work in your vehicle. So you've got it, you've probably waited a lot of days for it to arrive from China. It's finally arrived, you plug it in and it doesn't work or nothing like your CarPlay screen comes up on your display where it should have done if you were to use it wires. So the first thing is, do you already have CarPlay in your vehicle? Many people think this dongle gives you CarPlay in your car, um, even though you've not had CarPlay or you've got a stereo that doesn't have CarPlay on it already. This won't give you CarPlay. Uh, you've got to already have a wired CarPlay in your car. So first things first, do you already have CarPlay? In theory, you should already know whether you've got it or not because you've been using the wired version. This just makes it wireless. So that's number one. Try a different USB port. Some vehicles have multiple USB ports that you'll plug in your USB-A uh, connector into. Usually, you have to use the lightning port that you use for wired CarPlay, exactly the same one. Don't choose a different one. Take that lightning cable out and plug the actual dongle into that because likely that USB is the only USB used for the system and CarPlay, especially when you've got multiple sockets. If you've just got one and it's the only one that you can actually plug it into and that's the same one that you had wired CarPlay, um, you're out of luck. That's your only option. So try the other solutions that are listed in this video. Try and find out if this dongle is faulty. Uh, some people have reported that their uh, dongles have come faulty and this one particular has quality control sticker on it. So that's a good sign that these things are now being tested. We didn't get that in our other um, test, uh, test unit, nor the CarPlay 2 one either. But our first CarLink unit didn't have that. So a good way of testing if the dongle is faulty is to try it in another car. If you've got a friend or a family member that has a CarPlay car already and they may even have a wireless dongle and if they do, great, that's even better because you know that their car is already set up for that. But what you can do is find another car that has CarPlay and plug it in. So not everyone's got friends with CarPlay enabled vehicles. So another one is that you could go into a hardware installer or a, um, a dealer, a car dealer, that you can actually then ask them nicely to go in there and plug your dongle into their cars. Um, another one is uh, like an audio car installer where you've got lots of banks of um, CarPlay stereos. A lot of them have a uh, normally a lightning cable um, on the display units, uh, which is a problem because you can't uh, take the cable out. But some have a USB socket that you could plug the uh, cable into uh, and try and, and try your dongle on, on some of the aftermarket stereos there. And just basically what you're looking for is when you plug it in, you will notice that that turns red and that means there's an error uh, with the dongle and the actual system it's trying to uh, operate with. You want that green and you want that green of, and I think it flashes whilst it's operating as well. So once it's green, you can just tap the CarPlay icon and you can then activate CarPlay. And you can so if you've got your dongle connected and it's showing green and it could be flashing on the status light here, um, you've got um, the option that if you can't get CarPlay actually running on your display and this is showing green, then it's likely that your phone could be uh, the blocker here uh, with the system kicking in to CarPlay mode. So there's a couple of things you could try here. Uh, do a reboot of your iPhone uh, and um, see if that helps. Try someone else's iPhone as well and see if um, uh, that connects. But usually if that red light's flashing, it's not a problem with the iPhone, it's a problem with the dongle and the receiver that you're plugging it into. So you need to get this green at least um, for your phone to even recognize it and make it run. So if it's still red, chances are that this dongle doesn't work with either the systems you're plugging it into or the dongle is faulty itself. So go to the manufacturer's page and see if your vehicle is listed. Now the problem is, is vehicles can be listed but they have many different systems inside the car that are different per year. So even though the vehicle might be listed and it's year, 
different specs have different systems installed in it and um, some dongles might have worked for some people with the same car as you but you might have just a slightly different model of system inside that this dongle doesn't work with so bear that in mind as well when you're either purchasing or trying this out on either your or other people's uh, vehicle. Another addition to the Carlinkit dongle specifically is try a different cable. So if you've got a spare USB-C to USB-A cable, uh, try and find another one of these. Um, there's a lots of um, smartphones and devices now that are USB enabled and they will come with a USB-A socket. So try that out and um, it could end up being the cable, uh, which is a good thing because you can replace the cable, you can't replace the dongle and the technology that's inside it. Make sure you've got all your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi profiles that are connecting to your car removed. It's good to have one Bluetooth profile for your dongle to connect to your car. So if you've previously had hands-free Bluetooth connected to your phone, get rid of that profile by going into your Bluetooth settings and deleting that profile. And um, if you've got it, if you've been using other dongles, remove them as well. So you've only got the one profile for Bluetooth um, for the dongle to enable itself. So conflicting Bluetooth profiles can also stop your phone from connecting to the dongle. So um, that can help as well. So a lot of Wi-Fi enabled vehicles only come with 2.5 gigahertz uh, transmission signal and not 5G. Uh, this car link at 2.0 also does 5.8 gigahertz so it's a different band. So if your car comes with Wi-Fi built in see if you can uh, disable that and, um, and just have this dongle uh, be the only one that is sending Wi-Fi in your vehicle. Alright so thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.